The displaced family returned home this morning, still in disbelief, but thankful that no one was hurt. The entire wooden structure was completely destroyed, leaving only remnants of the family's belongings. Well, yesterday, about after five, I went outside to wash my granddaughter clothes because my granddaughter lived with me. And I was washing, and she was in the back, I have a back veranda, so I put her in the back veranda where I could check her while I was washing. And I was washing, and I keep checking her, you know, and she keep talking to me. And I just left the washing and go close to her to check. And she said, um, Mommy, kiss me now. And as I bend so, I just see the blaze coming from the bedroom. Because I didn't, while I was washing, I didn't smell anything, nothing. I just only see the blaze. And I just grab her and I just run. Owner of the home, Margaret Lambert, says contacting the relevant fire department and getting a response took too long for her liking. No, when the neighbor called, we didn't get the answer at the same time. They took a while before we got them to answer. Ms. Lambert is now forced to reside at her daughter's home. The homeowner is now asking for assistance. The cause of the fire is not yet known. Meanwhile, police investigations into the matter continues. Colin Campbell, GBN News.